What's up kids, Peter Von Panda here. He ordered myself this Mozone large lightweight travel water resistant day pack, backpack. Uh, this one's 40 liters, so it's pretty large and you can never really have enough backpacks. Uh, I have a lot of backpacks of various sizes because depending on when you need something for travel or uh, a long hike or just a day hike, a lot of different, uh, different ways you can use backpacks. It comes to just like this and what I've noticed is in the bag, it's pretty small, you know, it's about the size of a Bible or something. And it comes in this little zippered pouch here. So that's pretty cool. And I'm gonna open it up and let's go ahead and take a look at this. This is considered a foldable packable backpack. So the cool thing about it is the pouch that this comes in is part of the backpack itself. So everything kind of folds out of it just like that and you get this this length of backpack there. Now let's take a little closer look at it. So here's the backpack all packaged up. Just to open this up, I got mine in this bright green, neon green, and everything just unfolds from it just like that. And now let's take a look at how it how it works. You just kind of open it up. There are the there are the straps right there. So this is going to be the top. Looks like you can turn this sucker all the way inside out. And now this is the top flap to the backpack. You're seeing it as I'm seeing it. So now you could actually re-zip up this top. You kind of have to do it from the inside. So a lot of top flaps will have an opening on the outside so you have easy access to it. But in this case, because of the way this packs up, the, the zipper for this top flap is gonna be inside the backpack. So this is actually pretty generous. The whole backpack came in here obviously to begin with. Um, like I said, you could put a, an, a full MRE in here, a couple of uh, standard uh, plastic water bottles. You could put a full Nalgene bottle in there, something like that. Probably first aid and kind of the quick access stuff you might wanna put in there. Now, the, the backpack itself is supposed to be 40 liters. I would say that's probably pretty accurate between 30 and 40 it pretty nice cool green gray color here i got it because it's bright the material itself is pretty thin uh it's kind of like tent nylon so not super thick rugged like a cordura or nylon strap just kind of nylon sheeting which is why it folds up so so small you can see here big main compartment and it's gonna be pretty simplistic in its design. So you have a main compartment here. I don't see any internal pockets, so there's no way to sort anything once it goes in there, but you could put your backpack, all your gear and whatnot in the, in the inside there. Then on the front here, you have a pocket that goes about, about two thirds of the way down. The, it doesn't have any cinch strap, but it does have a little bit of a stretchy lip here. So it doesn't close up all the way. Um, so I would definitely put like, if you have tent poles or something like that, uh, just keep in mind that if you're doing a lot of maneuvering, you may have something fall out of here. So if you have someone following you, just keep that in mind. Or if it's heavy enough to sit all the way down in the bottom. There are a couple of loops here. So you could put a carabiner and close that up. There are also a couple of cinch straps here, which I'm not really sure why, but I'm sure we'll figure that out. And then there are a lot of loops. There are two major loops down here, so you can clip stuff on. And then it looks like there is a, well, it looks like there are two clips here, which would, I suppose, go up to the top. So you have two clips on the side that right here, kind of halfway down the middle of the main compartment. They clip in there so you can cinch the top down. So instead of one right in the middle, this can kind of be bulged out and you'll have two clips holding the, the lid down here. On the side, there are a, there's a pocket on this side so you can have easy access to a water bottle or, or something uh, just by reaching around to the other side. And then there's another pocket on the other side. Again, um, a little bit of a stretchy material here, kind of like a spandex. And then the top has an elastic um, elastic band. Also on both of these there is a cinch strap here so you can really let's say you have a water bottle on one side and a fuel bottle on the other you can cinch that in without having to worry about them going anywhere and a cinch, a cinch strap is there as well. On the back again because of its compact size there's no particular padding on the back of this backpack. Here's the back so this will be flush up against you it's just material keep that in mind as you're packing or uh, there's no structure, there's no ventilation, there's no big padding. The straps themselves are 
fairly small. They're kind of day packish or a uh, school backpackish, but there is a webbing and there is a slight padding here. It might be a little hard to see. It's not a real thick padding, but there's padding and some breathable um, um, uh, polyester on the inside of it. Down on the on the the, the middle, the bottom, of, towards the bottom of the strap, there is a sternum strap. It is slightly adjustable up and down. It only travels maybe two, two and a half inches. And then the receiver on this side, again, also travels up and down a little bit. It's interesting that this is orange, really bright orange, and clips in there. So kind of nice. You'd be able to have those straps tucked together. Sternum straps are like one of the most underrated pieces of useful equipment on a backpack. You know, um, any any backpack tends to spread these these. Uh, the straps apart. There are no hip straps or anything, as I can tell, but you know, that's part of the point of having a small backpack like this that's really portable and folds in on itself. Now I'm gonna quick take this apart here. I am going to unzip the top pocket and see how hard it is to get everything to fit back together. So I'm kind of I kind of I'm rolling in the sides here to make it as narrow as possible. And then I'm gonna fold it once. And then I'm going to fold it again and we're going to kind of turn that top inside out over the mass of the backpack and kind of just like a stuff sack for a sleeping bag you know it goes in there pretty well may not be as well packaged as it was when it came shipped but you can see that just in a matter of a, a minute you can you can stuff it all back up the zipper here is the same one that you use to Close this up if it if you're using this top compartment for something. It's it's there's two. It's kind of a reverse zipper. You can see there's a there's a tab on both sides of the zipper. One when it's in backpack form, one when it's in travel form. And you zip it up just like that. And there's a little grab handle on the top here too. So great backpack for travel. We'll see how it holds up. But Mozone really clever design. Uh, lots of capacity so that you can use it and really great storage and travel sized. Peter von Panda out.